Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to host your static website using AWS S3 and CloudFront. This is our simple architecture where your static files are stored in S3 bucket and served to user with the help of CloudFront CDN. And uh, benefit of uh, this architecture is that uh, uh, it have less latency because CloudFront have uh, edge locations like this which are very close to users and uh, this reduces latency also it's uh, cheaper as compared to serving uh, files directly from s3 bucket if files are served directly from here latency will be also high and cost will be also high but uh, if it's served from cdn its latency is very low and also uh, if file is once cached in cdn every time it is not taken from s3 bucket instead file is directly served from cdn so let's see how to create these resources in AWS. First of all, we need uh, static build. So if you are using React, you can use npm run build to create uh, a static folder like this. Or if you are using uh, vanilla HTML and JavaScript, then you must already have these files. Then go to AWS and uh, open S3. In S3, create new bucket, give it globally unique name, and uh, keep everything default and create new bucket. Also, open CloudFront. And uh, create new distribution. Now here we need to supply our origin name. So for us, origin will be S3 bucket, which is this one. Now inside this bucket, if our uh, index.html is at root, then uh, we can leave this origin path as empty. But in case of uh, React application, I will upload this folder like this. So now I have bucket and inside bucket I have this folder and inside this folder I have my index.html file. That's why I will keep slash dist in origin path but uh, you can keep it empty if your index.html is at root of bucket. For origin access we have private bucket that's why we need to use origin access control or OAC create new OAC and uh, Make sure to select sign request because uh, our bucket is private and uh, this option will use origin access control to access bucket. With this option, do not sign request. Uh, it will not work because bucket is private and it will not be able to access it. Now, scroll down and uh, select redirect HTTP to HTTPS. Leave everything default. Select do not enable Bevo application firewall. Under price class, for best performance, all edge locations can be selected. But uh, if you have traffic some, but if you have traffic from some specific regions, then these options can also be selected. And these are comparatively cheaper as compared to all edge locations. And default root object should be entry point for your Bevo application. For me, it's React application and it's index.html. It might be main.html or anything for you. So put it and uh, create distribution. Now, till this distribution is creating, we need to update our bucket policy to allow this distribution. So copy this policy and uh, go to bucket, root of bucket and go to permissions edit bucket policy and paste the policy and save it. Now copy the distribution domain name and uh, let's see if it's working. Still it's deploying, it will take some time. Okay, looks like now distribution is up and I'm able to see my website uh, in CloudFront domain. 
now suppose i want to make some change in my website then i can just uh, go and make the change uh, let's call my hosting name to s3 cloud front 123 build it again and uh, go back to s3 bucket and upload the folder again just to uploading will override the files so no need to delete them after uploading you will not see changes immediately because files are cached already in the cdn and uh, will not be available for access like if i refresh i'm not seeing one two three here so for that we need to invalidate the cache which can be done from cdn page so go to cdn invalidations and create new invalidation slash star will invalidate everything it will take some time to invalidate and uh, now it should show latest changes now another problem with hosting react application is that if you are hosting react application on s3 and cloudfront and you are using react router dom for uh, having routes so i have oac route here and i am easily able to navigate between my routes but uh, if i am in some route apart from root route and if i refresh it like this then it will give me access denied error with uh, 403 status code and reason behind this is that cloudfront is trying to access dist folder and inside dist folder is trying to access oac folder and that's what is causing problem so how we can fix is that go to cloudfront distribution go to error pages and create uh, custom response for 403 errors point them to index.html and uh, status code as 200 it should be slash index.html and create custom error response it will take some time to deploy once deployed go back to your application and uh, try to refresh again and this time it will work so hope you find it helpful thanks for watching